Join the Thinking in English Conversation Club right now and get a seven-day free trial. That's right, one week free to see if you enjoy our Conversation Club. The only way to improve your English speaking ability is by speaking and speaking as often as possible. And the best way to do this is with my Conversation Clubs. Join small groups of other Thinking in English listeners, along with me and professional English tutors, to discuss fascinating topics, learn vocabulary, and really improve your English. All of our clubs are conducted online and are an amazing space to practice, test yourself, and meet interesting people. We run clubs six times a week, and the more of you who join, the more sessions we will run in the future. You can join the Conversation Club right now for just ten dollars a month. And if you sign up today, you can get a seven-day free trial. Click the link in the description, or go to www.patreon.com forward slash thinking in English to join now. Hello, I'm Tom Wilkinson, and welcome back to the Thinking in English podcast, a podcast for intermediate to advanced level English learners. The new Barbie movie has been banned in Vietnam. Let's discuss why it has been banned, how the movie is related to one of the most sensitive geopolitical issues in Asia, and what it tells us about Hollywood's relationship with China. You can find a full transcript for today's episode over on the Thinking in English blog, and there is also an interactive transcript as well. Here is today's vocabulary list: blockbuster, blockbuster, a book or film that is very successful. For example, the movie studio has not had a blockbuster in years. Offensive, offensive, causing someone to be upset or to have hurt feelings. For instance. The politician resigned due to his offensive comments. Dispute, dispute, an argument or disagreement, especially an official one between two countries with a common border. As in, the border dispute has been going on for nearly fifty years. Sovereignty, sovereignty, the power of a country to control its own government. As in, talks are being held about who should have sovereignty over the island. Claim, claim, a claim is a statement saying that you have a right to something. For instance, the country's claim to the island is not widely accepted. Demarcation, demarcation. A border or a rule that shows the limits of something or how things are divided. For example, the river serves as the line of demarcation between two countries. Infringement, infringement, an action that breaks a rule, law, etc. For instance, even minor infringements of the law will be severely punished. Sensitive, sensitive. A sensitive subject, situation, etc., needs to be dealt with carefully in order to avoid upsetting people. As in, the stolen car contained military documents described as very sensitive. The Barbie movie is sure to be one of the biggest blockbuster films of the year, starring hugely popular actors like Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, and directed by the award-winning director Greta Gerwig. The movie has been highly promoted across all media. For those of you who don't know, the movie is the first live-action Barbie movie inspired by the fashion doll called Barbie. Barbies have been described as the world's most popular doll, and one of the most well-known children's toys of all time. In fact, Barbies revolutionized the toy industry. 
they popularized the trend of accessories for your toys and dolls. Rather than simply buying a doll for your child, you could buy clothes, houses, cars, and more to customize your Barbie. Given the immense popularity of the toy, and all the promotion the movie is getting, it is sure to be a massive summer hit. Barbie will be released in most countries later this month. Most countries. Not all countries, but most. Vietnam's National Film Evaluation Council, after reviewing the Barbie movie, found one scene so offensive and controversial that they have banned the entire film. And this is the perfect opportunity to talk about a topic I've considered writing about for nearly two years, known in English as the South China Sea Dispute. So let's take a deeper look at this controversy behind the Barbie movie, how it relates to one of the world's most contentious debates, and how Hollywood has tried to balance this difficult situation in recent years. But before we move on to the rest of the episode, I do need to give a slight disclaimer. Every time I discuss a controversial topic, some of you tend to get offended. And the South China Sea dispute is almost certainly going to be a sensitive topic for some of you guys listening. I have quite a lot of listeners in Vietnam and in China, and in Taiwan as well, all countries involved in this dispute. As always, I try to approach all topics fairly and critically. And while I'm not necessarily an expert in this situation, I do have a master's degree in the politics of Asia from a global top 25 politics graduate school in which I studied and researched the South China Sea dispute. So I guess I'm a little more qualified to talk about the topic than a lot of people. Okay, so that was my disclaimer. Let's move on. Why did Vietnam ban the Barbie movie? Well, one scene in the movie features the character Barbie being told that she must leave Barbie land and travel to the real world. During this scene, a childlike drawing of a world map appears for less than a second on the screen. The map is by no means a super accurate representation of the real world. It is a mess of odd shapes and strange lines. However, in one part of the map, a U-shaped dotted line crosses out into the ocean and returns back to the same land. Most people would have missed this detail. Or even if you did notice it, you would just assume it is a meaningless line in an already meaningless map. But according to the Vietnamese film reviewers, it did have a meaning. It was a representation of the nine dashed line, one of the key aspects of the South China Sea dispute. Let me explain a little further. The South China Sea dispute is a really complex and long-standing territorial disagreement involving multiple countries in Southeast Asia. The main disagreement is the sovereignty or ownership of various islands, reefs and waters in the South China Sea. This dispute involves overlapping claims by China, Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei and Taiwan. The nine dash line is a demarcation line used by China on its official maps to highlight its territorial claims in the South China Sea. The line consists of nine dashes that enclose a significant portion of the sea, covering areas that are also claimed by other countries in the region. China's claim based on the nine dash line encompasses numerous islands, reefs and shoals including the Paracel Islands and the Spratly Islands. The Nine Dash Line has been used on Chinese maps since the 1940s, but it is highly controversial and also quite vague. The Republic of China, so the government of China before the Communist Party took control, and the current government of Taiwan, first drew lines on the maps in the 1940s, 
to indicate their claims to the islands and the waters of the South China Sea. Yet these lines were not specific or clearly defined, which has led to massive arguments, disputes and confusion in the region. China's claims are based on their version of history. They claim that ancient Chinese documents and maps show that Chinese fishermen and traders were operating in the South China Sea long ago, and therefore the region should be owned and controlled by China. Other countries in the region, however, have their own, often even more legitimate claims to islands and waters. These conflicting territorial claims in the South China Sea are rooted in historical, geographical and geopolitical factors. Some countries in the region assert their claims based on historical evidence, such as maps and records, while others talk about their location. The presence of natural resources, including oil and gas reserves, also confuses the situation. China has also used its territorial claims to justify the construction of artificial islands and military bases in the area. Importantly, while China strongly believes in the Nine Dashed Line, no one else does. Other countries and international observers argue that the line and China's claims are inconsistent with international law, particularly the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, or UNCLOS. UNCLOS is a legal framework for determining rights and boundaries in the oceans, including exclusive economic zones and continental shelves. A tribunal ruling in a case brought by the Philippines against China in 2016 found that China's Nine Dash Line claim had no legal basis under UNCLOS. However, China rejected the ruling, maintaining its position based on historical rights. The South China Sea dispute is a highly sensitive and politically charged issue that has implications all across the region. Efforts to address the dispute have included negotiations, dialogues and different types of proceedings. However, finding an acceptable solution remains a significant challenge. To Vietnam and many Vietnamese people, as well as others in Southeast Asia, the Nine Dashed Line is deeply offensive. And Vietnam has a history of being really strict with depictions of such maps in movies. The animated movie Abominable and the action movie Uncharted have been banned in the country in recent years due to the map. And John Wick 4 was also unofficially banned in Vietnam due to starring actor Donnie Yen, who has publicly spoken in favour of China about the South China Sea dispute. For Vietnam, the inclusion of the Nine Dash Line in maps can be seen as elevating China's claims over Vietnam's claims. It also raises concerns about China's intentions and its potential to control areas that Vietnam believes are rightfully theirs. Vietnam has a long history of inhabiting and using the islands and waters in the region, and they view the Nine Dash Line as an infringement on their traditional fishing grounds and access to valuable resources. As a result of these concerns, Vietnam is particularly cautious about maps that feature the Nine Dashed Line. So, now Vietnam has banned the Barbie movie, what is the Hollywood studio going to do? Well, nothing, probably. The Warner Brothers Film Group has said that any resemblance to the Nine Dash Line is completely accidental, right? It's a fictional map full of lines, shapes and colours. But it is not the first time that a Hollywood movie has seemingly gone out of its way to appeal to the Chinese government. Hollywood studios want the Chinese market. They want their movies to be successful in China. China's massive population is a massive market for movies and can make studios an incredible amount of money. Hollywood producers would make efforts to appeal to Chinese audiences by including elements like Chinese actors in minor roles or filming certain scenes in China. 
However, as the Chinese government's control over its society has tightened, the US-China relationship has become more complicated and Hollywood's approach has shifted. Rather than actively trying to appeal to Chinese audiences, Hollywood now focuses on avoiding content that may anger the Chinese government or challenge the Chinese viewpoint. How do they do this? Well, there's a lot of examples. One method is to alter a character's ethnicity or personality to ensure approval for screening in China. For example, the film Doctor Strange changed the ethnicity of a character, the ancient one, from Tibetan to Caucasian. And Bohemian Rhapsody removed references to Freddie Mercury's sexuality. These modifications are made to avoid displeasing the Chinese government, as they can lead to a film being banned in China and harming its profitability. And there are lots of examples of movies in China being edited to remove certain features. For example, uh, a kiss in the most recent Fantastic Beasts movie. The desire to access the Chinese market has led Hollywood studios to accept the Chinese government's view of certain issues, such as geography and territorial claims. However, films that reference sensitive topics like the Nine Dash Line have also faced bans in Southeast Asia and resistance from the US government. As time goes on, the desire to work with China is becoming more challenging due to increased censorship and cultural barriers. Chinese cinema has also grown more sophisticated and is now a competition to Hollywood's films. Chinese-made films have seen significant success both in China and internationally, presenting a challenge to Hollywood's dominance. Despite the financial attraction of the Chinese market, there are concerns about the influence of Chinese propaganda in American entertainment, which may not always be recognised by audiences. This issue is of particular concern for countries that lack the power to confront China's narrative on the global stage, like some of the smaller countries in Southeast Asia. As the Chinese film industry continues to grow and geopolitical tensions persist, Hollywood faces challenges in balancing its commercial interests with artistic freedom and geopolitical considerations. So here is today's final thought. Why has Vietnam banned the Barbie movie? A map. A short clip of a map that may reference the controversial Nine Dashed Line. Despite the ban in Vietnam, the Barbie movie is set to be a major summer blockbuster. However, the ban does highlight the sensitivity of the South China Sea dispute and how Hollywood's desire to appease the Chinese market can lead to compromising artistic freedom and geopolitical considerations. As Chinese cinema grows in sophistication and tensions continue, Hollywood faces challenges in navigating its relationship with China while remaining true to its global audience. But what do you think? Are you planning on watching the Barbie movie? And does your country have any territorial disputes? I've actually recorded quite a few episodes on territorial disputes, done one on the Falkland Islands, or Las Malvinas, I think in Spanish, the, uh, the British-owned islands close to Argentina. Um, I've also done one on uh, Gibraltar, and I think there's probably a few more I've done on, on different situations around the world. And what's important when I talk about these topics is to remember that it's okay to disagree with me. It's okay to disagree with what you're, you're hearing and have your own opinions on these issues. The entire idea of thinking in English is to teach you or to help you think critically in English. And these controversial topics are great at making you write and explain your ideas in your foreign language. But also try to be respectful. Every time I record these kinds of episodes, I get some very mean messages from people and I try to stay relatively neutral, I think. Or at least I try to present both sides of the issue. 
although I might have my own opinions, I tried to not really go out and say it. So I think that's something important to bear in mind. And yeah, I don't really like having to put a disclaimer in my episodes, but I feel felt like I need to. Because last time I did an episode on Gibraltar, a, a lot of angry Spanish people messaged me and it wasn't very nice. <laughs> so um, I think just try to be critical. And if you want to re- write a comment, please do. There's comments on Spotify or comments on the blog, but remain respectful. Otherwise, I won't display your comment publicly. Thank you all so much for listening today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if there are any other territorial disputes you'd like me to write about, I would love to do it as well. I've got lots of ideas, but let me know which ones you're you're interested in. As I said, I've done the Falkland Islands. I've done Gibraltar. I've done Taiwan. So you can search online for those episodes. Um, and if there's any other situations around the world, let me know and I'll try and uh, write something about them. But thank you all so much for listening, like I said already. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.